first story uh, seasons tier list these tier lists are really fun uh, for me personally so if you have any ideas of tier lists that I can do in the future let me know or I'm sure I'll come up with something right off the bat I do want to apologize because I know um, that the computer itself uh, it makes a certain noise um, that's pretty loud I don't know what it is I've taken it to, to uh, Best Buy the Geek Squad right and um, they said it's like a failing power supply um, but the computer is working fine so I'm not really too in a rush to get it fixed but I do apologize for that extra noise in the background as well as my girlfriend is playing uh, video games as well so she may you may hear her talking um, to her friends or, or whatnot while doing that so but anyway American Horror Story let's see uh, tier list here I thought we had it we had it pulled up somewhere uh, hopefully everything records all right for this uh, so <clears throat> it looks like we have legendary perfect good not good or trash I don't know if any season is really legendary um, but uh, so I have not, disclaimer, I have not watched any of these seasons very recently, except for, of course, the most recent one, um, 1984 or whatever. Um, it just, it's tough when you're doing TV shows, right, if you want to review them and uh, do a fresh review, because I'm personally a connoisseur of TV shows, and uh, so I always like to have something fresh um, that I'm watching, something new, and uh, so there are only a very few uh, few shows that I'll go back and rewatch. And American Horror Story really just isn't one of them, even if I'm doing it for like a review or something, you know. No, um, so no, I may not be the best, uh, you know, source for, for reliable no, stuff no, with this, but I am just going based off of my memory and emotions toward the season, right? Um, so we'll go ahead and, uh, I guess, get started. <clears throat> um, so you can pretty much presume. Um, let's see, when did I start watching American Horror Story? I guess I started watching it... Uh, whenever, whenever season five was just about to air and around the time season four had ended, um, just so you can kind of get a little bit of a timeline of, uh, when I was watching the episode. So I started, of course, with season one, two, three on Netflix and then watched four. Um, you know, I think I had to pay for some of four or whatever or watch it on a, uh, a legal website, right? Uh, cause it hadn't quite made it to Netflix yet. And then, uh, and then I watch five live, and then so on. Um, except for season nine, whenever we get to that, or is it nine or ten? Yeah, it's nine, eight, 1984. Uh, me and my girlfriend started watching that, and we did not finish it because we just hated it so much. So obviously, it's going into trash. But we'll we'll talk about it. But like I said, the best we can, um, the best it's on our memory anyway. Uh, so let's see. And like I said, hopefully my audio is, is good enough to understand above all of the, the background noise. I do apologize. Uh, so 1984, it looks like where we start out at the, the most recent season. It's going into trash for me. Uh, that's a huge deal that I did not finish it, right? Because I'm pretty, uh, what's the word, OCD um, about TV um, and things like that. So I usually will, even if I don't like a show, I'll finish it and watch it through. Um, me and my girlfriend did start watching it together, like I said. And uh, you know we just were we were, uh, were pretty pretty bored uh, all throughout. I mean, God, I don't even know if I would say bored. And I know this is a very unpopular opinion because I know a lot of people like season nine. A lot of people. Um, but for me, it was just too many. From my memory, it was too many. Uh, what you call it? Uh, you know, opportunities to 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 sway the audience. Like uh, what's the word for it? Um, you know. Not jump scares, but a twist. Pl too many plot twists, and um, just too many characters that felt like over the top or unbelievable to me, and uh, just too confusing and all. It really just it went too full throttle too fast, I think. And um, I, I don't know. Uh, we probably only watched to like episode six, you know, maybe maybe nine. I don't know. I know that's a big difference there, but uh, yeah, I can tell you, I did not really care for any of this. You know, it's, it is it is a genre. Uh, that it picked on that needs to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It needs to be uh, uh, done in the series, of course, you know, the whole uh, Jason, you know, uh, type theme. Uh, but no, for me, it was just, it was just too, just, I did not like it really at all. So it's it's definitely easily trash for me. I will go back at a later date probably and, and rewatch it through, definitely before season 10 comes out, you know. Um, I'm OCD. I don't want to not have that one under the belt. 
Uh, but yeah, it, it's just, it's got to be trash, right? Very easily my least favorite. So next, Asylum. I would have to say Legendary. Um, very stark difference from where we started with the trash one. Uh, but yeah, absolutely my my favorite season to my memory. I, I knew it was something special the first time I saw it. I don't think really many people disagree with that. You know, you still had, um, damn, not Kathy Bates. What's her name? Jessica Lange at the time, you know, leading the show at that point. And um, yeah, just awesome horror stuff. Um, and just story um, overall, it was just very interesting, and I love the the just the, the 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 vibes that you get through it. You know, like I said, I can't get too into specifics because it has been a long time since I've seen it now. Um, but no, I can tell you that uh, it was it was uh, it was definitely legendary, no doubt. Um, I don't know what keeps popping up there. So then we got Murder House, and I would have to say good. I know a lot of people really hold it in high esteem uh, but for me you know it was even back in the day when I watched it and I when I say back in the day I mean back the, around the time that I started watching American War Story um, you know I was of course younger obviously and I wasn't as critical of TV as I am now or as experienced even you know I have seen a good bit bit of TV shows at this point um, old and new and uh, even back then I thought that American War Story season one was just okay uh, so yeah, I would say it's a safe good for me, um, there, you know, it's a season that a lot of the other seasons have branched off from, of course, you know, it's the first season, I mean, they had it back in Apocalypse and the new American Horror Stories series, series, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just going to be good. That's very easily how I felt whenever I watched it. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, uh, what is this, Coven? It's hard to tell from the little oh, no, pictures. This is a pre-made tier list. But yeah, Coven is uh, legendary, easily. Because it really captures the, I guess, comedy or silliness that Ryan Murphy can do. It, it, it captures all of his strong points to me. So he has that, you know, like I said, comedy silliness, but also the good, solid storytelling. And also, um, what am I looking to say? Um, just interesting lore that he can put in there. You know, um, like the, uh, what, the, the whole... You know, it's a competition between the witches. I mean, that's an interesting premise already. Um, you know, you get Pop, Papa Legba. He was a cool character, I remember. Um, the whole torture yeah. thing with the African Americans was really dark and twisted. Uh, you know, of course, for all of American Horror Story, I just have to say, the marketing is so good, you know, and the promos and stuff. But that, of course, doesn't have to do with every season, but it just made me think of it. Yeah, they have, and the theme songs and things like that. I've said that before in videos. Um, but yeah, Coven is, I think, easily a lot of people's favorites. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just so good, so fun to watch. You know the Stevie Nicks stuff in there, the the her coming in to sing. You know as silly as it was, it just worked. All kinds of great characters in there for sure. Um, just really interesting lore and uh, the what is it? Um, the voodoo stuff is is just awesome. You know, and they even build on it more uh, in Apocalypse. So yeah, obviously it was just a legendary season for sure, if not the best. Um, next to oh Asylum. God, I'm just, I'm just like, and then we have Freak Show, ooh, a season that a lot of people uh, did not enjoy, right? Because it uh, um, it did feel a little bit, I think, uh, the word from my memory would be, uh, what's the word, just kind of split. Like, I think it had a good strong first half with the clown. Um, but then after that, it felt kind of, uh, I guess, it may have lost direction. Uh, you know, I think I felt that for sure whenever I watched it, but still the atmosphere and the theme of it and everything um, for the for the freak show and stuff and, you know, the time period. Something you have to take account to, I think, whenever you're reviewing TV and stuff like I'm doing now for, for the, you know, back in the day time periods and stuff like that. Not back, way, way back in the day, but you have to take an account and the things that were going on in your life personally whenever you're watching this stuff, they can, um, what's the word, influence your view on no, on the TV that you're watching, they very easily can, right? Um, so you kind of, like I said, you got to take that into account too. Not that anything was going bad, wrong in my life during Freak Show. It's just something that I thought of, and uh, something that will take into effect later on in the later seasons. But anyway, Freak Show, I wouldn't say it was not good. I would honestly just say it was right up there with um, season one for me. You know, when you see what comes on later, you know, there's worse. Uh, so it's going to have to be just good for me, right? Because you can see later on, it's like, oh, it can be worse than that, you know? And maybe for the time, it was the worst that American Horror Story had to offer for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, later on, I don't think so. 
<clears throat> so then we have a hotel. Yeah, no, I did not like this season very much. I know when I was watching it, I kept waiting for something, um, I guess, meaningful to happen or something that wasn't just sex. Everybody always brings up there's a lot of sex in this season, season and that's uh, absolutely true. Um, you know, Lady Gaga and that. It just felt like it was the time when American Horror Story realized how popular it really Man. was. So it was like... You know you're not recording, right? Why do you say that? You're streaming on my Twitch. Oh, whoops. I'm streaming. Okay. Emily just told me. I mean, I can save the VOD and we can post it to YouTube. That's fine. Okay, just yeah. Going. We'll just keep rolling with it then. Okay, so I'm streaming, actually. I'm not, uh, yeah, Evelyn, not recording. Oh, my God. She just said, I'm watching him stream That's kind of embarrassing, right? This is a stream and meant to be a uh, recording, but at the same time, I don't plan to edit through any of this anyway. Um, so it works as a stream too, right? At least, luckily, very luckily. Um, I could have went very wrong. Uh, so anyway, <clears throat> uh, what was I even saying? I forgot. Oh, with Hotel, yeah. No, this season was, uh, of course, it's one of those things where... My girlfriend's laughing at it. She's got me a little bit distracted, but... My girlfriend? It's my Twitch! Well, okay, but... Okay, whatever. See, it's her Twitch channel that I'm streaming to, so it's all messed up now. Uh, but yeah, so Hotel is... I'm gonna say not... I'm gonna have to say not good, honestly. Um, there was... There was just not very much out of this season that really stuck uh, for me. It was just a real mess overall. She's talking about the incident in the background. It's got me messed up, but... So yeah, I'm going to say not good for Hotel. I think nobody would really uh, dispute me on that. Uh, nobody really liked Hotel. Uh, so then we got Roanoke for me. Part one of this season? Is Twitch now? Part one of this season is legendary for sure, I would say. Um, because uh, just so much horror um, stuff happened that was, that was I don't know, it was just very scary for, for me, right? Even as I was, I was older, of course, when this came on, I was like, wow, this is some really horrifying stuff. I'll never forget the... Uh, disembowelment thing uh that happened um it sticks in my mind and i love the the atmosphere the roanoke uh nightmare whatever um you know i think it's a naturally creepy like uh time period with that too um uh we had uh what what's the name of the black guy i know sarah paulson was a big character in it but the black guy kuba i, I don't know his name but he was a good actor in it for sure memorable i liked him I think the reason, unfortunately, that Roanoke gets a lot of hate is because of the second half with the, um, what you call it, the uh, found footage um, setting, which of course is, uh, you know, a valid horror genre that I think American Horror Story did need to cover, um, but, uh, you know, it, the way they did it, so silly-like, kind of, I guess. I don't know. I think already in that horror genre, a lot of people aren't really fans of the found footage type stuff anyway. So I do think that unfortunately drags the season down a good bit. But for me, how strong the first half of the season was, it's going to have to be legendary. You know, personally, I think it was very creepy throughout. And, um, you know, just very, there was always something happening every episode. I do remember. All right. Now Coven, or not Coven, where did that, what is this? Uh, cult, I mean. Um... So, you know, this season, I don't know if it's too fair for me to say because this was the season where I did first start my, my first job. So I did not really, was not able to focus when I, where I was watching this episode, unfortunately, because I was so exhausted from, you know, my first my first times of, of working a, a full, like, 8, you know, 12-hour shift, whatever it was. Uh, but Cult, so, you know, this, this is Ryan Murphy's season to really let out his... I don't want to say political views because looking back at it, you know, um, and reading over some interviews and stuff and some articles, it does seem like he was pretty neutral on his political whatever it is with this, you know, if he has any strong side one way or the other. And he was just uh, putting a pretty new neutral view with this season, it would seem, right? Despite what people would believe hearing about it, like, oh, it's a political theme season. Okay, Ryan Murphy's going to do this with it. You know, to be fair, it doesn't seem like it was that way. But still at the same time, I just think it even though, you know, he wasn't really trying to sway to one side or the other, it came off with a very strange vibe um, to me, you know, and it was during political season, uh, of course, uh, so it's like a lot of people were kind of overdone with the politics and stuff, so to see it in something like uh, entertainment where you're trying to escape from it and it's still there, you know, um, was a little bit overkill too, but I can appreciate what he tried to do with it, you know, uh, but at the same time, to my memory, was it very enjoyable? Uh, no. 
Um, so I'm going to have to put it in and not good, right? Um, I mean, like I said, I, I see what he was trying to do, but it just, it, it didn't really land, you know, for no particular reason that I can remember. Um, and then Apocalypse, this one's a little bit underrated too. I think it's heavily carried by um, the fact that the uh, the witches um, from Coven were so well uh, liked and everything. Um, and that storyline comes back to play. And then some Murder House story comes back as well. Um, but, you know, uh, for an Apocalypse theme season, it, it feels almost more like a what do I want to say, like an Avengers season, right? Because everything kind of comes together. Everybody comes together for this one cause, which if you're going to do anything, come together for anything, it's going to be the apocalypse, right? Uh, so I think it works for that. Um, but a lot of people have a lot of story things specifically that they pick out with it that doesn't work. Um, and to be honest, you know, apart from the, um, the callbacks to, to Murder House and Coven, I was a little bit uh, either bored or confused with it. Uh... And, you know, the setting, I feel like it was always, like, of course, had to be kind of underground. And uh, it was a little bit stale as well. Um, so it's definitely not going to be perfect. God, can I say it was just good? Because, man, if you hadn't, if I hadn't known about the reviews for this season, you know, just difference of opinion, I probably would have said it was just good. Um, so I think I'll have to put that in good. But it could kind of go in between. But I'm going to have to say good for that one. And then, um, you know, then we got season 10. What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. Okay. So, yeah, then we got season 10 coming up. And uh, it's going to be called Double Feature, which is a big disappointment for the for the season title for me. I thought it was going to be something to do with the water, right, for the, for the, for the main uh, title of the the season, I don't know, it's just very weird, but apparently they're doing a, like an alien story, which they kind of brought into uh, Asylum, right? They kind of added a little bit of everything in Asylum, which is why it's great too. Uh, alien zombies, just, you know, whatever worked for the horror aspect. And it wasn't really messy, it was just kind of creepy and, what's the word, intriguing. Uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, season 10, uh, probably end up doing reviews on it, you know, of course you can't rank it. Uh, but we'll just, we'll just see uh, uh, how it ends up being. Hopefully it ends up being you know, uh, good, because I feel like American Horror Story has, of course, if you can't tell, my list more than likely, so, so, slowly but surely, gone downhill, because, look, we got Asylum, uh, well, Roanoke, season six, I believe, up there, pretty good, but then Coven, um, but yeah, I just want American Horror Story, it has a lot of potential, as I've said in other American Horror Story videos, um, so I hope season 10 is good, but yeah, this, this may be all we do for American Horror Story on this channel, I don't want to become American Horror Story channel, <laughs> Which I feel like is a lot of the content we post lately. It just so happens to be something easy to do videos on. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, this may be it Be it for a while. Um, got some other videos I want to get done. Uh, but, yeah, if you enjoyed this, um, then uh, go ahead and, and uh, subscribe for another tier list that you might like to see. And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry if you're coming to this uh, hoping for my girlfriend, uh, you know, Little Cupcakes uh, stream. It's not what this turned out to be. It was just a mistake. Uh, luckily, nothing too uh, severe came from the mistake. Uh, like, for example, I'm not wearing pants. So if I was somebody who edited my videos, um, you know, then I probably would just stood up and be like, oh, I'll edit it out. So, yeah, bullet, bullet dodge there, you know, and uh, potentially something disappointing for you, um, perverted viewer. Anyway, I'm going to stop before I mess up and uh, do something, you know, on stream that I, that I shouldn't. Because I'm lucky I haven't already. Alright, so thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video or stream.